All right, y'all, welcome back. I love pie, and the lazy cousin to pie is cobbler. Equally as delicious, just slightly lazy. So I'm gonna make a peach cobbler. It's summer in Nebraska. There's nothing much greater than a peach cobbler. Serving alongside homemade vanilla ice cream. And I'm not talking about the vanilla ice cream that you know you can get at the grocery store or the vanilla ice cream where you're like cooking your egg yolks and making a creme anglaise and all those things. I'm talking about like the ice cream that your mom used to make or that you grew up on as a kid. It's like that chalky, creamy vanilla ice cream that melts like the second that you take it out of the freezer. Uh, and it's just absolutely delicious. I'm gonna start with the ice cream. Two parts heavy cream to one part milk. And I just wanna take a little bit of my heavy cream and put it on the stove because I'm going to be using a raw turbinado sugar. And I wanna heat the cream just to dissolve the sugar so that the ice cream's not gritty. Other than that, there's not any cooking involved. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, a little farm fresh cream. All right, in the meantime here, um, <laughs> okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna start separating my eggs. Uh, I have six whole eggs. I just want the yolks. Save the whites for maybe a cocktail or two. Egg white omelet, if you're into that. Sorry to hear. These yolks are gonna make the ice cream really creamy. Nice and decadent, rich. Splash of vanilla in the egg yolks. Whisk my egg yolks in vanilla. All right, cup of sugar. Creams come to a boil. Oh, yeah. Stir to dissolve. Now we're going to temper the egg yolks, the cream and sugar. Oh, yeah. Cream goes in. Followed by the milk. That's it. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna get it ice cold. So that when I put it in the ice cream maker, it'll churn. Okay, so for the cobbler itself, it's two parts. The inside is the peach filling. Then the top is the actual like streusel topping. Now the streusel topping, oats, flour, butter, salt, brown sugar, cinnamon and nutmeg. Inside the peach mixture, vanilla, cornstarch. Have a little bit of bourbon. Uh, I have a white wine vinegar that I've soaked some peaches in, so we can now, we can call that a peach vinegar. Fresh peaches. So for the filling itself, I'm gonna take our peaches, just cut them into bite-sized pieces. First, you can just see the juice oozing out of these babies. So good. I'm just taking my knife, I'm running it all the way around the pit here. Twist. Twist. So in my peaches, a little fresh vanilla, splash of this peach vinegar. I splash, I mean a couple tablespoons. Turbinado sugar. Just about a cup. We're gonna stir to incorporate, and that sugar is gonna start to leach out some of the liquid from the peaches. That's what's gonna create this syrup in the bottom of the bowl here, which is then gonna create the syrup that goes in the bottom of the cobbler. Okay, I'm gonna take my cornstarch. A little pinch of flour. That flour and that cornstarch are gonna bind with the liquid that the sugar pulled out. It's gonna thicken it a little bit. Set that aside. In the cast iron that we're going to cook the cobbler in, we're gonna brown just a little bit of butter, about two tablespoons. This is going in an eight inch cast iron. Meanwhile, I'm gonna combine my flour my oats, brown sugar, 
pinch of salt. Stir all this to combine. Fresh nutmeg. This is really a personal preference thing. I like a fair amount of nutmeg and cinnamon in mine. I think you just have to do what your comfort level is. Cinnamon. All right, cinnamon nutmeg went in, followed by my brown butter. I like to leave all the milk solids in there, as long as your butter doesn't get too dark. Okay, and in the same hot cast iron, I have the bourbon that I spoke about that I'm just gonna add. Back to the heat. I'm just adding it to the hot pan uh, to cook off just the alcohol and the bourbon uh, before I add it to my peaches. You can definitely leave the alcohol in there. It's good either way. Bourbon in the peaches. I'm gonna mix this together. The brown butter. All right, last ingredient, whole butter. colder the better on this. You can kind of go in in just big pieces. I'll just kind of chop it, cut it in until they're like left with pea size pieces. And as this butter melts and steams, just kind of creates this flaky golden brown crust. Sometimes you just gotta get in there with your hands. Start to break it up with the flour. So you end with this really like moist, flaky streusel top. All right, preheated cast iron. I've got my peaches. Oh yeah, see that sugar's really starting to leach out some of the peach juice and that flour and cornstarch thickened it a bit. So I'm just gonna go right in here with it. All right, the pan's a little overflowing. Peaches are gonna cook down, soften up, purge out some more liquid. I think a sign of a good cobbler is when you see all the like syrupy goodness all over the side of the pan. Just do right over the top. This baby's gonna go in a 350 degree oven for an hour. After that first hour, I'm gonna turn the oven up to 450 and let it go for about another 12 minutes. My ice cream base has been in the fridge for about an hour or so, allowing it to get wicked cold. It's going in this base here. Oh yeah, baby. So then I'm gonna process. It takes about 45 minutes. Home ice cream maker. This all gets put in. This base has to be frozen as the ice cream base goes in it. So this has been in the freezer for about 24 hours. The ice cream should take about 45 minutes to spin. Ice cream is ready. It is amazing. Oh yeah. Mm. A little bit of this ice cream here. That's it, peach cobbler. Pie's lazy cousin. Homemade vanilla ice cream, just like mom used to make. Summertime or fall favorite. My kitchen yours. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Follow us on social media, all the usual suspects, where we share new tips, tricks, and recipes weekly of all my favorite dishes that I love to make at home. Oh, 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 okay, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Turbinado. It's got a little, got a little grit to it. Got a little grit.